Alrighty, good morning. You cannot see me because it is <laughs> 6 40 in the morning and the sun isn't up yet. But just left my driveway, tried to avoid hitting my trash cans, and I'm heading over to well, one of the local hospitals to get blood work done because I just prefer to get it done there. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. I've been meaning to find a new primary care physician for a while, um, years even. Um, and the one I found that I went to yesterday, I think she's gonna be really good. She listens and she seems to care. And so I am going to go have blood work done because she wants to check for some things. So, and I also have to do blood work for my um, uh, endocrinologist for my thyroid as well. So. I was supposed to do that last month, but I ended up being out of town when I was going to do it. And then, um, and then weather just got bad. So, but I am actually off work today because I'm going out of town to see my brother because we need to do some stuff. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, um, so not working today. A ton of work I need to get done. I have another appointment next Thursday with orthopedic. Uh, what the hell? Uh, just a lot of flashing. Oh, okay. They seem to be. Uh, oh, it's Spectrum. Oh. That must be why power was out for a couple of hours last night or an hour last night. It looks like there's a truck off the side of the road. I don't know. There's like three Spectrum trucks. Spectrum is one of our internet providers, cable and internet providers. Um, but there were three trucks along the side of the road there doing something. Which you couldn't see because my camera's facing me complete darkness. I guess I could have you facing outwards. Maybe we'll do that on the way back home. But, uh, yeah. Just heading over there to get some blood work done. And then, I'm gonna come back home. Stop and get some coffee on the way home. Get back home, have some breakfast really quick. And then it'll almost be time for me to head to head out of town. So, busy morning. Even though I'm not working. But we will see you I guess after my blood work. Alrighty, blood work is done and the sun's coming up. That was quick. It took them longer to get me checked in for all the different orders than for Kiera to actually take my blood. <laughs> uh, she actually called me in while they were still checking me in for the second order for blood work. But yeah, so right in. Heading home now, I put in a <clears throat> Starbucks pickup order for coffee. So I'm gonna pick up my coffee, get back home, have some breakfast, and then probably I might work on a video for a little bit. It would do a, I don't know why my camera thinks the battery is low when it's at 45%, but I might do a little bit of recording this morning for my Hungry Reroute video, do the final uh, box. Alrighty. It's uh, 8.40. I am leaving my house to go to Springfield. If I can get my garage door to close. Come on. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna pick up my brother for lunch. Now we're gonna go sign some paperwork. So I already have some of my blood work results back, so that's good. Just need to wait for the doctor to look at them, but everything is in the normal range that they uh, ran the numbers for. Uh, except for, what was it? RBWCV or something, which is a little bit high, which being a little, which being high, it's a sign of anemia, which I am anemic, so not surprised there. Um, I didn't look up a lot of the other things 
but gonna see what she wants to do after she looks at the results. And I don't have my thyroid numbers yet. That one isn't done yet. Hopefully they ran it. Um, for Dr. Matthew for my endocrinologist to see if I need to adjust my um, thyroid medication. But got about a three hour, 20 minute drive to go to my brother. So I'll get there right about noon. Just went on to pick him up. I may have to stop and use the bathroom. That might be a little bit after 12 o'clock, but it's all good. I will see you guys. Not sure what we've got going on here on the other highway. It's going super slowly. Unless it's a funeral procession or an accident or something. I don't know what that's about. My brother went to a Mexican restaurant called El Paraiso in Springfield and I had the birria tacos. It comes with radishes and rice that's called tender rice. The rice is actually really quite tasty, but I really enjoy these tacos there. I've had them several times, so it was a pretty tasty lunch. Alrighty, it's getting a little late. I'm a... Uh... About halfway back home. It's about 5.48. I'll get home about 7 o'clock, 7.30ish. <coughs> and I'm going to stop along the way, probably pick up a sandwich for dinner on the way home. Because I'm getting a little hungry. It's dinner time, so it'll be a bit before I eat still, but that's all right. Probably won't get much else done today. So we will get to it tomorrow, and I will see you then. We have a weird merger here, but we see a couple of semis off in the ditch here in the bad weather. But up ahead here, there appears to be some flashing lights, and I'm hoping there's not a bad accident that's going to slow us down. But we'll see here in a minute. Yeah, so the exit getting onto the highway here. I don't know why I insist on stopping here, but I'm used to stopping. With this construction, there's no Getting on the highway, you have to stop and yield and wait for a chance to get onto the highway because there's no acceleration lane. I thought about taking one of the outer roads up here to St. James, getting on the interstate from there. It looks like maybe I should have if there's an accident up here. But we also got a little bit of sprinkling, rain. Notice, maybe in my headlight, off to the left where the edge of the road is, the median. It's all chewed up by tire tracks. Whenever we had really bad ice a week ago, I think a lot of semi-trucks slid off and chewed it up. Alright, we are getting closer here. So, I know I just said went out to the gas station but we were pretty much done for the night, but so I met up with my brother in Springfield <clears throat> and we uh, signed some paperwork, but it looks like we are stopping here, or at least let me throw on my flashers. It looks like we are indeed at a stop because of an accident from those flashing lights that we could see. I don't know if you could see them on the camera very well. Alright, it's about 5.55. We'll see how long of a delay we have here. Yeah, I don't think the lights are too far ahead because I can see them reflecting in vehicles coming towards us in the sides of semi-trucks.
I should have gotten on the other side. So the highway splits because of the construction. And there is another eastbound lane you can see there. Um, see that car over there? Um, another eastbound lane. But since I got off the highway, I took the right lane. And yeah, I should have taken the outer road. Flashing lights on the outer road just started up, and I don't know why. Unless they're warning people on the outer road about the accident up here. I'm not sure if it extends to the outer road or not. But, alright. It's been about four minutes. I'm gonna turn my audio book back on, I guess. And sit here and wait for more. Alrighty, a 10 minute delay. And we're moving a little bit again. We'll see if we get past. So, I'm not sure which vehicle up here is the issue. I think this semi off in the median, if you can see it. Uh, right there. I think that's been there for a week. I saw it on my way going down to Springfield. Yeah, here's the issue. It appears to be over here to the left. Yep, it looks like a semi tipped over somehow. I don't know how. It may have slid on the mud, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely a fresh semi off in the median. I don't know how that happened, but... Alright, and we're off again. See you guys in a while. So, um... So, I just thought of a funny story from a long time ago, like 10 years ago, uh, with an ex-girlfriend driving along this part of the highway heading back to St. Louis from visiting my family and there were two water towers off to the left side of the highway and one had cold written on it and one had hot written on it and she was like oh they have two water towers one for hot water one for cold water I'm like no no they're both just regular water towers and she's like well, why does it have hot and cold on it then? It must be hot water and cold water. I'm like, because it's a joke, honey. It's a joke. <laughs> I'm like, you don't get hot water at your house from that water tower. It goes through your water heater. And it was just, it was funny to me because she thought they, because they were labeled cold and hot, they had that water in them. But yeah, I, I just, thought of that because I saw a water tower off to the right and it made me think of that and made me laugh so I thought I would share <laughs> see you guys later well, that was a long and busy day getting up early to go get blood work done and then driving down to Springfield meeting with my brother to sign some paperwork with a lawyer and then driving back home but at least the weather was decent this day and it was a productive day at least for some of those items but that was all we had on this day, and until next time, be safe and take care.